Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 10 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about filter products by brand. So let's see how can we filter products by brands. So first of all, uh, let's display here the brands. So go to the shop controller and uh, inside this index method, uh, let's, let's fetch the all brands. So let's create here a variable which is brands is equal to model name brand colon colon add here the order by order by and give the column name which is name and order order by uh, ascending so right here yes see and now call the get method get okay now let's pass this brands to the view file so right here brands arrow dollar brands okay now save this file now go to the soft.blade.php file and uh, uh, this is the brand section okay so here let's display the brand so inside this evil tag just add here the code directive then dollar brands edge dollar brand and now just cut this first line and paste inside this for each okay now let's remove this remaining li so just select and delete Okay, now display here the brand name. So select this, add your double curly bracket, dollar brand, arrow name. Okay, and uh, here display the uh, product count uh, inside the particular brand. So right here, double curly bracket, dollar brand, arrow products, arrow count. Okay, and uh, inside this input checkbox let's add here the id so br and remove this one and add here double curly bracket dollar brand arrow id and inside this value just remove this and also add here brand arrow id okay now save this and let's check so switch to the browser and refresh the page and you can see here the brands and here is the product count okay inside this brand there are three product and inside this product there are two products here is a six and seven products now let's make work in this checkbox so for that I'll go to the shop controller and here let's create another variable which is dollar q underscore brands and inside this variable just get the just assign the value from the query string so right here dollar request arrow query and pass here the query key name which is q underscore brands okay and now let's pass this q underscore brands to the view so here just right here q underscore brands arrow dollar q underscore brands and now go to the view file and uh, inside the filter form here let's create another hidden field so right here input type is equal to hidden and name is equal to this one q brands id is equal to q brands and value is equal to this one dollar q brands
uh, give the name brands okay just remove this give underscore brands and inside the sub controller just add here query string brands and now inside this script tag inside this view file let's create a javascript function for the filter by brand so create a function here function filter products by brand okay and inside this just pass here the brand okay and now create a variable so write your var and variable name brands is equal to set here the default value which is empty string and now dollar uh, checkbox name which is this one brands so right here input input and pass here the name so right here name is equal to brands and then add here colon uh, checked okay if in, if this input checkbox is checked then uh, just add here the each and inside this each just add here callback function and then uh, let's check here if brands is equal to mp then inside this brands just concatenate the values right here plus is equal to this dot value otherwise I'll just write here brands plus equal to comma and concatenate this dot value and now uh, now assign this value brands value to the hidden field so right here dollar has brands dot val and inside this val just pass here this one brands and now submit the form so filter form so right here uh, has sign mm, uh, form id which is frm filter so right here this one and call the submit method okay and now inside the brand checkbox uh, let's copy this function name and uh, from the ch input checkbox this checkbox i uh, just uh, call this function so right here on on change event so right here on change is equal to this function name filter products by brand and inside this just pass here this and now inside this checkbox uh, let's add here if directive and inside this if directive uh, let's check uh, the particular uh, checkbox id inside the q underscore brands variable so right here if dollar brand if in array function okay if 
in underscore array if in array just write here dollar brand if id is exist in this array so usual the explode method explore and here just pass the comma separated string so right here dollar uh, q underscore brands if this uh, this id exists inside this q underscore brands then just write here checked okay checked is equal to checked and just close here the if directives right here in depth if id exists in this queue plants then uh, print and uh, just add here the checked is equal to checked inside this checkbox now save this file and uh, go to the swap controller and inside this just add here the where condition for filtering the product by brand so add here the where just add here the arrow the arrow and uh, here add the where condition where And inside this where just add here the callback function and inside this callback function just pass one variable which is query and also use this q underscore branch so right here use dollar q underscore branch and now inside this function just write here dollar query and add here where in so right here where in and let's check here the brand id is exist in this q brand so use here the explore method again so right here explore and pass here dollar q underscore brands okay and also uh, add here the separator so right here comma then like this and also add here the or where so right here all where raw and uh, double quote add here the single quote inside this double quote and now pass here dollar q q underscore brands concatenation sign also add here the concatenation sign and then like this okay here it's checking the brand which exists in this q brands otherwise uh, q brands if q brands is blank then just fetch the all products okay matching these two criteria if brand id exist in this q brands or q brands is equal to blank then fetch the products now save this file and uh, inside the swap view file inside this explore method also add here the separator so right here comma like this okay this is the separator now save this file 
everything is done. So now let's check this. Okay, refresh the page. And now let's check the branch checkbox. So it's just not working. So let's check the console. Okay, here is the mistake. So go to the soft.blade.php file and inside this filter product by brand method just remove this big bracket from here and add here okay now save this file now go to the soft page and refresh the page okay now let's check again and you can see here three products and if I check this one you can see here three plus six nine products okay and if I uncheck this you can see here only six product so in this way you can filter products by brands so that's all about filter products by brands so don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching